Hello friends, welcome into the Cowboys Report presented by the Guild. I am Tom Downey. Follow me on Twitter at WhatGoingDowney for more Cowboys coverage. Let's dive into some rumors now. First up, the Cowboys misuse Ryan Switzer. Four stars on this one. Yeah, they did not use Switzer properly. And this come from, comes from Ryan Switzer himself in an interview he did with friend of the show Patrick Walker of 24-7 Sports. And Here's the overarching theme with Switzer. He's totally right on this when he says he took snaps at halfback and that as he thinks about it more and more, they kind of try to make him into a scat back type. The reality is the Cowboys wanted somebody to replace the Lance Dunbar lucky whitehead type role as a running back receiver hybrid, a space gadget player, and a return guy. The Cowboys wanted Donnell Pumphrey. The Eagles took him one spot before they could, so instead the Cowboys took Ryan Switzer and tried to make him into something he is not. Ryan Switzer is much more of a classic slot receiver than a Tavon Austin type gadget weapon that can be used as a running back, as a wide receiver. So Switzer didn't fit into that hole the Cowboys tried to make him fit into. As a result, he didn't play that well. And then the Cowboys ended up shopping him in exchange for Jihad Award. There was a long interview with this from Switzer. There's been some upsetness that this is what the main takeaway was. But Switzer is right here. The Cowboys didn't use him properly. They drafted him to be what they wanted, not what he actually was. That's why the pick of Switzer did not work out. All right, next up, is Demarcus Lawrence not a top 10 pass rusher in the NFL? Ah, we're giving this one fake news that comes from William McGinnis NFL.com article on his top 10 pass rushers. Now, look, there are a lot of quality guys on this list. No surprises that guys like Von Miller, Khalil Mack, Aaron Donald, and so on make the list here. Chandler Jones made it. But Lawrence was tied for second in the NFL last year with sacks. How do you not put him in the top 10 list entering this year? Guys like Cam Cameron Wake and Melvin Ingram made the list over Demarcus Lawrence. Wake and Ingram had 10.5 sacks last year, four less than Lawrence, whose numbers last year were more than anything Wake and Ingram had in their NFL careers in terms of career marks. So, yeah, I think you have to include Demarcus Lawrence in the top 10 pass rushers. Even if it's only at, like, number 10 or number 9, it still makes sense. J.J. Watt, who's been consistently injured the past few years, also made the list. Look, if you want to put other guys ahead of Demarcus Lawrence, I get that. But I think he's definitely a top 10 pass rusher based on what we saw last year. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments section. Speaking of Demarcus Lawrence, is he going to play the 2018 season on the franchise tag? It's not quite set in stone, but this one seems pretty likely. Three stars on this one. Another update coming in from Mike Fisher who says, the Cowboys and Tank, they're not close to a deal right now. They have until July 16th to figure out what those two sides want. But it seems very likely that the Cowboys will let Lawrence play the year on the franchise tag at above $17 million. Dallas does not want to pay him at least $17 per year, which is what Tank's asking for. DeMarcus is not going to go below that because, well, he's already locked in for $17 million this year. So in all likelihood, it is very, very likely the Cowboys will let Tank play on the franchise tag. And then if Lawrence has another big year, he's going to cash in even bigger next offseason. Next up, number four, is Zach Martin only the 71st best player in the NFL? Yeah, this one's fake news as well. The NFL top 100 list is kind of going on right now, and they had Martin at 71, down from 58 last year. I mean, when you have one of the best guards in the NFL, if not the best guard in the NFL, naturally he ranks outside the top 70. It's overall the, 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 the devouring of guards on this top 100 list. Only two made the list, but Zach Martin should be way higher. But as I'm sure I'll mention again, don't put too much stock in this list. It's frankly just not very good at all. Next up, will Ezekiel Elliott win the rushing title next year in the NFL? Well, we're going to go ahead and give this one three heads. Comes from Gene Jacquez Taylor, who said that Zeke absolutely will. I'm not putting it as a lock, but think about just last year. Zeke was, you know, I maybe had a bit of a down year. The offensive line had a down year as well. He still put up 98.3 yards per game last year, the most in the NFL. Assuming Zeke plays in all 16 games, he has to be the favorite because he's going to get the rock a ton and is going to put up good numbers as well. So let me know what you guys think. If he plays all 16 games, yes, Zeke will lead the NFL in rushing in 2018. Of course, he has to stay clean off the field and all that kind of stuff. But I think it's definitely fair to call Zeke the favorite because no one else puts up 98 yards per carry on the ground there. All right, next up, Randy Gregory. Is he set to return to the Dallas Cowboys? We'll break down the latest development on that before a word from our sponsor, The Guild.
stars on this one. I feel pretty good about Randy Gregory being set to return to the Dallas Cowboys. Friend of the show, Bobby Belt said on his latest podcast, the Cowboys cast, that Randy's Gregory, Randy Gregory's reinstatement application is coming and it's going to be submitted no longer or no later than May 15th this year. That's been the very near future, folks. And apparently there are thousands of pages of support for Gregory that's going to be included in this reinstatement application. Doctors, teammates, Hall of Famers, even celebrities are now on Gregory's team in an attempt to get him back to the NFL. It all sounds very good for Gregory. The Cowboys continue to take the, hey, we're, we're not going to panic here. We're, we're, going to, we're going to assume the worst that he d does not come back. But I do think it's more likely than not that Randy Gregory gets reinstated and plays for the Cowboys, at the very least in the training camp and the preseason. We'll see how he looks on the field. But things are definitely looking up for those of you that want Randy Gregory back on the Dallas Cowboys. Speaking of some defensive linemen, how about Terrell McClain? Could he come back to the Cowboys? We're going to give this one two stars, but there is an update right now that Terrell McClain is going to take a visit to the Cowboys this week. I am all for this signing. The Cowboys need another one technique, that 3-4 nose tackle type player who can help stop the run. It was a major problem for them last year once Stephen Paia went down with his injury. The Cowboys have not addressed it this offseason. Bringing in McLean would really help solidify that need and take care of it. Allows Malik Collins to be a three technique, which is ideal role anyway. So yes, I want the Cowboys to add Terrell McLean. Yeah, he had a bad year with the Redskins. And yeah, he's never going to be a five or even ten sack player but he gives you a quality player at that nose guard position. It's one of the Cowboys' biggest needs left after the NFL draft. All right, next up, does Dallas want McLean over someone like Jonathan Hankins? Three stars on this one. It does seem pretty likely two different Cowboys reporters have said the Cowboys would prefer McLean. One says because the Cowboys view McLean as a better fit. Other says they just have more interest there. So, And I think McLean's also going to be cheaper than Hankins. Hankins, I think we can, for the most part, all agree on, is a better player than McLean. But I think McLean, because of the familiarity with the Cowboys, they know he's a scheme fit. They know what he brings to the team. And frankly, he should be cheaper than Jonathan Hankins as well. One final rumor item here. Are the Cowboys going to add a safety before the start of the season? Two stars on this one. From the Dallas Morning News, they did their way too early 53-man roster projection. They had four safeties. Of course, Jeff Heath, Xavier Woods, and Kevon Frazier. And then in the fourth spot was what they put a note as, a player not on the Cowboys roster. So the expectation there is the Cowboys do out, go out, and get another safety. They mentioned Earl Thomas as an option slash target. But as I've said before on the Cowboys show, yeah, don't get your you don't get your hopes up, Cowboys fans, to get Earl Thomas this year. I don't think it's very likely. But there are quite a few free agents available on the open market that I think would be great pickups for the Cowboys. Guys like Eric Reed, Trey Boston, Kenny Vaccaro, even more depth guys like Quentin Demps. So I would like the Cowboys to add another safety. I think you I think you want to go four deep, and right now the Cowboys only go three deep unless someone like Cam Kelly, who we'll mention later in the show, emerges as a safety option.